Are you thinking of making a move to Denver, but you don't know what the best neighborhoods are? Well, today we are gonna highlight the three best neighborhoods for families in Denver. Guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Tim Cammon, realtor for the Denver metro area. If you are considering a move to the Mile High City, I would love to be your resource. Hit me up at the information at the bottom of the screen. Call, text, or email. We'll get back to you. We'll make you your move to the Mile High City a success. As much as I like making these videos, I love helping people buy and find their dream home more. So when you need help moving out here or making a move within the Denver metro area, hit me up. All right, getting right into it. We are talking about the three best neighborhoods for families here in the Denver metro area. Now, some of the criteria that I use to identify these three best uh, neighborhoods for families are one, are they safe areas to live in? Are the schools good? And are there amenities for families? Things that kids would like to do and that parents would like to do as well. As a father myself, I know how important safety and schools are. And I also know that it's important to have things that are nearby for your kids to do. You don't wanna have to drive, you know, 45 minutes, an hour, just to find, you know, something for your kids to do, whether that's, you know, on a hot summer day, you know, having amenities like pools and different outdoor activities for them, or when it's the middle of winter and you just wanna get them out of the house and get them something to do. We wanna make sure that we identify some areas that have those amenities for you so, so that you can have something great to do with the family. So first on the list, we'll end with the most popular neighborhood, but first on the list is Berkeley. The neighborhood of Berkeley is kind of on the northeast corner of Denver. As you can see here on the map, just a little bit outside the downtown area, you're getting up close to the suburb of Arvada, but Berkeley is a great place uh, for families. One, it's a uh, highly rated school district up there. The schools are top notch. They also have a lot of um, parks around the city, and I know for families that have a dog, which most families in Colorado do, there are a lot of dog parks near the uh, neighborhood of Berkeley. So you got plenty of outdoor activities for the kids to do, and you also have a lot of amenities. Lots of activities on the Tennyson Street area. There's coffee shops, there's restaurants, there's different things for you to do as a family just to get out and enjoy what Denver has to offer. So. Berkeley is a great neighborhood for families. The current median sale price of a home in Berkeley is $959,000. So we are gonna see um, higher home prices in the neighborhood of Berkeley just because so many people have found that it is a great place to live. They are looking to move there as well. So. You're gonna find some amazing homes there, but there is, they do come at a premium. All right, number two on our list, Washington Park neighborhood. Now, Washington Park neighborhood is actually quite a large area, and it's kind of divided up into two areas, Washington Park and Washington Park West. Right now, we are actually in Washington Park at the filming of this video, and when people come to Denver, a lot of times when you know residents here wanna show off um, a piece of Denver, they'll bring them to Washington Park. You got uh, lots of trails throughout the park. You got uh, the whole park surrounded by a two 2.6 mile trail that goes all the way around that you can run and hike on uh, and just get out and enjoy the beautiful sunny Colorado weather that we have. There's a lot of uh, playgrounds for kids. We got a couple of ponds. You can do some fishing there. You can actually uh, rent a paddle board or a paddle boat um, to go out on one of these lakes. And there's a rec center within the park itself. So a lot of amenities right in the park that you can go do. There also is um, great shopping around on the Pearl Street or South Gaylord Street. You have options for dining and uh, going to get some ice cream. While you're out here, speaking of ice cream, hit up Bonnie Bray, some great local ice cream there um, just on the outskirts of Wash Park. And if you come here and you're looking for a house, that's what the locals will call it, Wash Park. So if you are looking for a home here, Wash Park prices are quite high. $1.6 million is the median home price for a home in the Wash Park area. Now, if you go into the Wash Park West neighborhood, you are getting a little bit of a break on affordability. Most of the homes there are 1 million to 1.1 is the median home price in Wash Park West. So check out Wash Park when you're visiting Colorado, the park itself, some of the neighborhoods around. You got a great, very cool community feel and you got a very diverse style of home in Wash Park. You have your traditional like Denver bungalow single-story ranch home and you also have some you know Victorian homes that are a little bit more grand have a little bit more um, maybe European flair to them or old world charm um, and then you have some where they've done a total scrape on it and they've rebuilt it from the ground up and maybe you have a little bit more modern feel um, some are a little bit more traditional or you may even get some with a Tuscan flair since there's no HOA and it's not a master you know planned community like you'll see in some of the suburbs you have a lot more uniqueness in the style of home that you can get here now it does come with that price premium but if you're looking for variety and a great place to live washington park is your option 
All right, now on to number one. This home, this neighborhood comes in ranked number one for families in Denver, and it is the South Park Hill neighborhood. Now, South Park Hill is a very central location, making it ideal for families. It's got fantastic schools, um, rated one of the safest neighborhoods in Denver, and it also has a lot of amenities for families, not just your shopping and your outdoor activity and the parks around, but your central location near the Denver Zoo, near the Denver Museum. So you got everything you could want within walking distance or a short drive. As we go through the community here, you can see the styles of homes a little bit older and you have a little bit of new mixed in with that. This neighborhood was actually developed in the early 1900s. So you've got a lot of historic charm in this area. Um, you'll see, especially on the weekends during the summer, that there might not be a lot of cars around, but there are people on bikes everywhere. So if you're looking to get around the neighborhood, just explore a little bit, and you're looking to, um, you know, go out to lunch, um, and then follow by drinks, you know, rent a scooter, go out, take your bike out. Plenty of options available in that South Park Hill neighborhood, and it is a one of the top neighborhoods for families in Denver. Now, median price point for the South Park Hill neighborhood is 950,000. So a little bit better than you'll see in the Wash Park and West Wash Park areas. A little bit more affordable homes there. You are gonna find that the homes might be a little bit smaller in size than you'll find than some of the Wash Park homes, but it is a fantastic neighborhood, but also comes at a premium. If you wanna live in the best areas of town, you're gonna have to pay with the best prices in town. All right, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found the content valuable. Again, if you are looking to make a move into the Denver area, whether that is Berkeley, Wash Park, South Park Hill, or one of the amazing suburbs around Denver, maybe it's Arvada, Lakewood, Littleton, or Centennial, I would love to help you guide you on your search here and get you set up for success and get you into that next home. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Like, subscribe, and share this video.